and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here, a Decision Maths A-level video, and it's the fifth one on linear programming. Just to show you what I want to cover, well, in video four, I actually covered uh, forming a linear programming problem. This time, I want to cover that again for slightly more difficult cases, so more difficult cases, and they involve like blending blended ingredients. So when your ingredients uh, come in sort of some sort of blend. Now, this re actually does rarely come up in the exam, but it's come up a few times, so it's important just to have a think about it. So I'm just going to do one example. Okay, so hopefully we can work it through with one example. So, a company produces two types of syrup. Syrup A and syrup B. The syrups are a blend, and that's the key word, just to show you, it might be slightly more complicated, this blend. It's a blend of sugar, fruit, and juice. Now, syrup A contains 30% sugar, 50% uh, fruit, and 20% juice. Syrup B contains that. Each litre of syrup uh, costs 50p, and each uh, litre of syrup B costs 40p. There is a maximum production of that. Um, and the confectioner places an order for 6,000 litres of syrup but requires below 25% sugar, um, f at least 40% fruit and no more than 35% juice. The company will blend the syrups to meet confectionery manufacturer's requirement. The company win it, manage, wishes to minimise its costs. Now, it's already started by letting X be the number of litres of syrup A used and Y the number of litres of syrup B used and we're asked to formulate the problem for that. So we've already defined our variables, okay? So let's define our objective function. We want to minimize the costs. Now it says here that each liter of syrup A costs 50p and each liter of syrup B costs 40p. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to minimize that. So we'd like to minimize the following. So I'm going to write it as 0 0.5 multiplied by however many litres of syrup A, which we've said is X. So minimise 0 0.5X, uh, add 0 0.4Y. And that's our cost. We're going to call it C equals. So we've done the first, uh, the second and first part now. Now we need to write our constraints. Now I'm just going to draw a table of the information just to make it easier. So we've got syrup A and we've got syrup B. Now syrup A, the number of litres of that is X and the number of litres of that is Y. Now syrup A, we're told it contains 30% sugar. So this contains 30% sugar. Uh, fruit is 50%. And juice is 20% which obviously adds up to the 100. And with uh, syrup B, we've got 20%, 35%, and 45%. What else have we got? We've got each one cost the following. So we had that before, the cost. So let's just put that in our table, 0 0.5 here and 0 0.4 here. There is a maximum daily production of 400 litres of syrup A. So the maximum production is going to be uh, 40,000 litres and the maximum production here is going to be 45,000 litres. A confectioner manuf uh, manufacturer places an order of 6,000 litres of syrup. But requires uh, below 25% of sugar, at least 40% uh, fruit, blah, 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 and they will blend them. So we want 60,000 litres the order of 60,000 litres of syrup. Okay, so the first one is the amount of syrup must be equal to X of Y. It's the number of the, the total syrup here, we could say is clearly X add Y. So if our order is 60,000 litres, we need to make at least that. So our first constraint is that X add Y must be bigger than or equal to 60,000 litres. So that's the most obvious one here. 
Now there is a maximum daily production of 40,000 litres of syrup A. So we know that uh, syrup A must be less than or equal to 40,000. We also know that Y, um, the maximum is 45,000. So Y is less than or equal to 45,000, right? Now the total of these two must be bigger than 60,000, but we know individually the number of syrup A has to be less than 40,000 and the number of syrup uh, B must be less than 45,000. So we've got some of the good constraints. Now the next thing we need to think is we need to think that w uh, we require 25% of sugar. Okay, 25% of sugar. So let's think how much sugar we get. How much sugar do we get? Well, we get for every uh, litre of this, we get 30%. So we, we that's like multiplying by 0 0.3. So we get 0.3x for, for syrup A plus 0.2y for syrup B. And this must be below, tw uh, below 25%. Okay, so the sugar, the total sugar in the syrup, which is x plus y, must be uh, below 25%. So this must be strictly less than 0.25 multiplied by the total, which is x plus y. Okay, let's try and do the same thing with the fruit. We want at least 40% fruit. So the fruit we get from syrup A, we get 50% from syrup A, so 0.5x plus... 0.35y now must be at least so it's bigger than or equal to must be bigger than or equal to 40% fruit which would be 0 0.4 multiplied by x add y and the last one we want no more we want no more than 35% of of um, juice so our juice is 0.220% for every liter of syrup A plus 45% for every litre of syrup uh, B, and that must be clearly then less than or equal to 0 0.35x add y. Okay, and do we need our non-negativity constraints? Well, uh, we should just write them in x and y have to be bigger than or equal to 0, as follows. Okay, so that's what we've got but we need to be able to simplify these ones. Now if we expand this out, this would be 0.3x plus 0.2y is less than uh, 0.25x plus 0.25y. Okay, this one would be 0.5x plus 0.35y is bigger than or equal to 0.4x plus 0.4y. And this one here would be 0.2x plus 0.45y must be less than or equal to 0.35x plus 0.35y. Now we should be able to simplify each of those. So let's have a, a, a go again. So um, let's state our, our problem. So we're minimizing c is equal to uh, 0.5x uh, plus 0.4y. So 0.5x plus 0.4y. And subject to, subject to these constraints here, so we're going to say that x add y is bigger than or equal to 60,000. We're going to say x is less than or equal to 40,000. We're going to say y is less than or equal to 45,000. Now this one here, if we subtract the 0 0.25 off uh, um, both sides, we would actually get, and I'll write it underneath here, we get 0 0.05x subtract 0.05y uh, is going to be less than or equal to zero, okay? So we can divide everything by 0 0.05, so x subtract y is less than or equal to uh, zero. We can write it like that. Or we could write um, x less than or equal to y, rearranging that, however you want to do that. So I'm, going, I'm actually going to uh, keep with um, actually, this was a strict inequality. My fault. That was a strict inequality. So this one here should be a strict, a strict, and a strict. So I'm going to write here that x is less than or equal to y for this one. x less than or equal to y. Now let's go up to this one. What would this one have been? If we took away that side, we would have got 0.1x subtract 0.05y is bigger than or equal to 0. 
If you divide everything by 0 0.05, so we get 2x subtract y is bigger than or equal to 0. And again, we could write that as 2x is bigger than or equal to y. So this one here would be 2x bigger than or equal to y. And the last one here, if we, sub if we subtracted the 0.35 uh, uh, off both sides, we would have negative 0.15x add negative 0.1y is less than or equal to 0. If we divide everything by 0.05, we'd get negative 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 0. And rearranging that, we get 2y less than or equal to 3x. So we'd have here that 2y is less than or equal to 3x. And obviously, we've got our x and y bigger than or equal to 0. So here's our problem. We're minimizing this subject to all of these constraints, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 like that. So we are done at that point. So um, hopefully that was enough now. What you need to remember here, when you see the word blending, you've just got to think it's about, um, you're going to have some sort of, uh, a few strange constraints where the amounts that you have depend, um, have to be less than a percentage of the total, okay? So it's going to be some sort of reformation. It's going to be something like this, 30% for each uh, of the uh, syrup A plus 20% of each of the syrup Y has to be less than 25% of the total amount um, there. So it will be something of that nature. So for you to practice a few more of these, I'd encourage you to do the following and try questions five to seven where you get some more practice. Thanks those for watching.